Hey guys, so hey, welcome back to Red Lips Talk. I'm your girl India. Subscribe to the channel, uh, like, comment, share the video if you would like. I plan to just quickly go over this because I just got this package in the mail and I want to give my truest first impression. I've never heard of this company until recently and I decided to order from them. I was about to cancel it because I didn't really mean to purchase it. But anyway, nonetheless, I did. This is from the company Crystal Fragrance. That's the, the company, I mean, not the company. This is from the website Crystal Fragrance. And I'll have that listed up here. But the brand that I purchased under uh, the company is called Creamy, Creamy Vanilla Crumble. I have it linked up here. And that is from 4160 Tuesday. So 4160 Tuesday is the name of the brand that created Creamy Vanilla Crumble, which I have right and here. Also sent me some uh, samples. So I'm excited because I never get like decant. I'm, I'm not a decant person yet, but um, I guess this is my first. Um, so they sent me samples of soup, Sucre Noir, Vanilla Tea, Vanilla Tonka, Rhubarb and Custard, Good Morning and Spring Dance. So I'm excited because they actually brought uh, packaged these as well. So I really love small touches. And then they also gave me a 20% off on select fragrances on the website, which is Crystal Fragrance. That's the website that I got it from, okay? Hopefully I didn't confuse you. So here it is. It just came in a regular uh, FedEx box or USPS, whatever type of box. I'm about to go ahead and open it up on camera and give you my impressions with you all. I'm going to uh, be going over the, the samples that they sent as well to see if I'm going to order more. Here it is. And my door is right here. So. I'm going to go back. It's a bug. Yeah. Well, we're outside as always. And this is it. And again, this is the company that created the fragrance 4162. I don't know what that means, but. And it tells you the name of the fragrance that I purchased, with it, which is Creamy Vanilla crumble and it's eau de parfum a bottle of rich creamy custardness with a note of crumble and a sophisticated hint of fresh leaf tobacco and hay all right and this is a 3.3 fluid ounce and it retailed for 180 dollars okay let's go ahead and get into it so i'm just going over the a video yes ma'am i just had a bit with me i don't know what is I don't see any samples in here. Maybe I, maybe it's in the box. I need to go back to the box. That in the box? It says perfume colors. We had we hand make our fragrances using traditional methods and materials. Their colors come from the natural absolute and the essential oils we use. That's why ours will never be any of the amazing shades that exist in modern perfumery. Ours will always be shades of tree. This also means that ours <laughs> they keep using more hours. The hours can stain your clothes. If you wear white, test them first. If your uh, style tends more to the goth or the tree colors, or you always spray on your skin, you're fine. So I am the type of person that spray on my clothes, and I'm glad I read that because, yeah, this will stain your clothes according to what this company says. So if you're wearing white like me and don't and always want to spray everywhere like I do, test on your skin as it states. But this is the bottle. 41 Tuesday, I mean 4162 they London. come from London that's where it comes from and it tells you the name of it so you can tell that it's hand created let's go ahead and spray this I'm going to spray it on one of the the fragrance sampler papers that they came with which I shout out to crystal fragrances and I love the bottle of this I love how sleek it is so let's get into it I'm so excited and I hope I love it guys I'm so nervous so this is how it sprays I didn't spray you, mama. You but being my daughter. Oh my gosh. Absolutely in love off the first spray. Okay, I switched um, my area because the sun is like beaming. I couldn't see my phone. But yeah, this is how it sprays. For $180. Let's see if this is worth it. Because I would definitely um, order from this company again. I mean, I am beginning to order more expensive fragrances. And because I'm a true believer in just long lasting fragrance and although some fragrances are expensive it doesn't mean or necessarily mean that it lasts longer but I'm just getting more into stop shaking the camera getting more into uh, the deeper fragrances or niche fragrances in that in my opinion and in this case I believe this is a I think this is niche 
So quickly, niche brands are particularly created from a specific perfumer who creates unique scents apart from designer brands. Designer brands are typically created for the everyday mass consumers, such as myself. In a nutshell, rich versus poor. Just kidding. Absolutely gorgeous. Thank you. It's really creamy. I pick up the vanilla, but it's some, It's not just a regular vanilla. It's like a creamy vanilla with custard. And I'm absolutely happy to have it. This is 10 out of 10 already. I just been wanting uh, vanilla fragrances and this is one that I was interested in. Like I said, I mistakenly ordered it and I, I did email them and was like, cancel it, but then I changed my mind. And I was like, no, you work hard. It is what it is. I made myself okay with it and I was okay with it. I'm happy with it because this is well worth it. It's just a simple, creamy, sweet vanilla scent with some custard notes. Almost can have like a coconut vibe. This actually reminds me of the Bath and Body Works coconut cream pie, which I absolutely adore. And I probably will pair these together. Can't wait to wear that. But just alone, this is gorgeous. So I'm happy to have it in my arsenal. Definitely check out 4160 Tuesday. And again, this is called Creamy Vanilla Crumble. Perfect title. Go ahead and go over some of these samples that they gave us. I'm excited about the samples because it's going to, well, I'm going to see if I like it enough to purchase it. I told myself every time I get paid that I'm going to re reward myself. They say you should always reward yourself or pay yourself first. And in that case, I tend to buy myself fragrances. <laughs> but I am trying to slow down with that and um, just focus more on getting my money back up. You know, or what I mean back up, get more money saved. Still, nonetheless, that's, that's just one of the ways I like to pay myself when I work hard the way I do, <laughs> you know? So here we go. We have the decants. So this, these are all the four decants that they sent me. And it has the, the name on here. I love little stuff like that. And then they also sent me something else. I don't know what this is, just box. Oh, it's, it's yeah. They told me they would send This it. one is called Good Morning. And it has some of the notes on it. Oh, so in the top notes, it has mandarin and orange breeze, magnolia flower, violet, violet leaf absolute, and then cashmere and frozen musk what this smells like. I'm gonna use one side to save. Wow, this is gorgeous. It's not something I typically go for, but yeah, on the days that I'm wearing something like this and I'm just not in the mood to wear like really, really gourmand type of fragrances, this would be it. If I was to rate it one out of 10, it would be and I'll give this a seven. It's, it's really nice. This is really nice. All right, next we have Spring Dance. I love that it comes with little notes. Okay, so Spring Dance, it has grapefruit, rosemary, honeysuckle, jasmine sandbox, dry amber, and musk. So I'm not opening that one, Mama. Here she yeah. comes, getting all in my stuff. I'm gonna do this. No, you can smell it. Smell it. Oh, it's yucky. Oh, she yeah. says yucky one. So, let's see. And these do, it has like a color to it when you spray it. Wow. What's that? Ooh, wow. This one. It's called, what is this called again? Lola and Chia. Oh, the way that it looks, the green color is exactly how it smells. Yeah. Greens, apple. citrus note. I smell this. Apple. Oh, I smelled this outdoors before. My, my apple. My apple. My apple. My daughter says it smells like apples. Yes. This is okay. Okay. I do get that amber at the, the base, which makes it more appealing to me. I get the rosemary, the amber, and the musk. I don't get the honeysuckle or the jasmine or the uh, grapefruit. Uh, it's not for me. If I was to give this a rating, it would be it'd be a six because it's it's different. It, it doesn't not, mean it stinks. It's just not something I typically go for, but it's really nice at the same time. Uh, Think of the, the Zest soap. It smells like that, but way better. I mean, mom, way, way better than Zest. Green Irish. Yeah. So the first one that we're going to smell is Sucre Noir. Is it hot? So this is Sucre Noir. I don't know who it's by. Ooh, I feel like I smell this. Selena, doesn't this smell like the, it smells like the uh, vanilla with the little girl. Remember the picture with the little girl? Yeah. Go get it, go get it. I'm gonna show you what this one smells like. 
Go get the one with the little girl on it. My daughter is gonna give me the perfume that this one mimics, which is way cheaper. I'm pretty sure this is expensive. This one is absolutely gorgeous. I have something that smells just like it, and I don't think I need it. I actually actually got a lot of um, comments from men and women on that fragrance, and it's just a vanilla. So this is another vanilla one. All right, so I have it right here, and it smells, hold on. This is what it reminds me of. This is by, uh-uh, get your hand away. <laughs> Look at my daughter. This is by Altremer. Altremer. <laughs> and uh, Eau de Toilette. And it's just and it's just a simple vanilla fragrance. <laughs> and it's like $22 or $32. <laughs> and it smells just like it. This one right here is very, very light. Let me see how light it is compared to this one. You see that itemizer? And this is a big bottle for $32 on Amazon. This one is lighter, but and it sits on your skin. Whereas this one is a lot more deeper and I can smell it. Like it's way stronger than this one. But if you overspray it a lot, trust me, people will smell it on you. I absolutely love this one. If I didn't know about this brand, I will purchase this because it's another vanilla that I absolutely adore. But I have the Altrema one and they have different logo uh, labels. So if you have the original label with the flowers and the burgundy color, it's still the same. Next one we have vanilla tea. I never had anything with a tea note, so I'm excited to smell it. I like to spray it a lot. Wow. Now this is nice. Selena, bring that back. I need the top. It's a fresh vanilla. Yeah, it's a herbal vanilla, if that makes sense. A herbal tea vanilla. So imagine smelling green tea or herbal tea. Not fruity, just herbal. I'm not sure if I will purchase it, but then again, I'll, it's like a 50-50 when it comes to this one. So I, I don't have anything like it and I absolutely enjoy it. So this will be one of those fragrances you will wear on going out to a brunch, um, just wearing it alone in your home because that vanilla brings that warmth, but the herbal essence tea note makes it a bit more different and fresh and, and earthy as well. So I probably will purchase this. I think I'll give it a nine or eight or nine. Next we have Velvet Tonka by B. DK Parfums, which I hear a lot. This is a very expensive company, so I'm gonna go ahead and spray the other end of it. Now this one, ooh. ooh. On that initial uh, spray, you get that medicinal shot smell. When you get a shot, it's medicinal. Yeah, it's, you get a medicinal note, which doesn't smell bad, but then it quickly uh, transitions into the amber note, which I absolutely adore, and I want this one. This is gorgeous. I don't know what they have in this one, but I absolutely enjoy it. So it, it's a medicinal tonka bean with some, I also pick up some vanilla. I'm not sure if vanilla is in it, but I pick it up. So still get a soapy vibe to it as well. So Velvet Tonka is the perfect name because you get that, that rose petal smell, which is more velvet. I don't know, in my opinion. I'm not sure if it has, um, floral notes in it but that's what I pick up so it's nice I will give this one a uh, seven seven and a half okay very very nice I'm not sure if I would purchase it though all right guys so I'm coming to y'all wall y'all get all the background noise today in the family next we have rhubarb and custard now I'm a little nervous of the rhubarb and this one is by 4160 Tuesday so yay back to the original one that I actually ordered 4160 Tuesday all right let's go ahead and get into that so, I'm, I'm not really certain about rhubarb. I hear mixed feelings when it comes to that. There we go. All right, let's see what this smells like. Rhubarb and custard. Hopefully I like it. This custard is appealing to me. Oh, wow, this is nice. Rhubarb it has like this soft, sharp uh, note to it, but then the custard makes it so easy on the nose sweet sour uh, smell so I'm guessing that's the rhubarb I think rhubarb has like this bitterness about it but that custard brings it together and it makes it a, um, a smooth fragrance if that makes sense I don't know but it's not typically a fragrance that I would go for yeah I, I don't even know why I would wear this one too this one is okay it's not bad but then it's not quite good I think I just have to get used to the rhubarb note yeah, that's about it guys. So that's all I wanted to go over and I'm excited to have these. So thank you 
Crystal Fragrance for sending me samples and decants of these beautiful fragrances. Oh yeah, but before I go, I will rate this I one. I will give this one a five too. Just because I'm just uncertain of where I will wear it. But other than that, the creativity is really good. None of these are, none of these reeks or anything. It's just not my cup of tea. So nonetheless, I love this one. I'm excited to have it and I do plan to order more. And then I think I may start buying decant so I don't have to waste my money and do blind buys because this was a typical blind buy. But yeah, I'm happy to have it. I'll see you all in the next video. Let me know your thoughts if you ever, um, let me know your thoughts and comment below if you ever order anything from 41 Tuesday by London. Um, 41 Tuesdays London. That's what it says on here. And that's all I got. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one. Talk to you later.